yet. 325, 35, 18. What gets me is this. Treadwear, <laughs> zero, zero, zero. Traction is C. You get a C. Basically just a passing grade. And temperature is a C also. Triple zero for passing grade. Traction, passing. Temperature, barely. Barely! <laughs> There we go. That's a burnout. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm Leah Pritchett. End up here. Don't you know? Don't you know? Uh, I'm actually just here for the cheese curds. Uh, that's what we're gonna have when we celebrate today when we are going to set the world's quickest time for a Dodge Demon. Ooh. That's right. The guys at Speed Core are the ones that put it together. I got the call to drive this beast, so uh, let's see what we can do. Yeah, so thanks to Speed Core for flying me out to follow <laughs> Leah here to try to break the record for a Dodge Demon. It's really cold. It was like 80 degrees in LA when I took off, and now it's really cold. So what is your name and what do you do for Speedcore? Mario Abascal, and I actually, uh, I work with Speedcore. We mm -hmm. work with Gearhead Fabrications, and we did the turbo system and the fabrication on this project. Wow, okay, so is this the first twin turbo demon? Absolutely. Hmm. And what made you guys want to do this? Just because you wanted it to be the fastest one? Yes. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. So tell me a little bit about the, the motor and turbo package. The motor itself is actually a stock Demon engine. Mm -hmm. uh, Mopar did a really good job with the, the power plant. Other than that, we took off all the exhaust components and we built custom forward face headers mm -hmm. and uh, precision 6875 turbos, uh, mm -hmm. custom intake, which was built by Speedcore. Um, and all the plumbing, electronics, and everything else was built in-house over at our shop, Gearhead. This thing sounds so mean. You guys are probably thinking, all right, cool wrap, bro. This is not a wrap. This is really all carbon. Holy wow. That was so sweet. I can't believe it. She already went faster than they've ever went in this car. First run ever. So, Leah just did her first pass. What do you yeah. think? Well, it reminded me real quick. I've been in a turbo car in like five years. Uh -huh. uh, off the line, it was just fine. And then, uh, you know, the thing about the demons, right? They, they lift the wheels and they squat and lift and, and go. Where this one was more like, like a street rocket ship. Just like, <laughs> and then turbo to speed. And then we got out like three, about 300 feet. And then they actually wanted to slip the tire. It caught itself because there's a progressive in it, and um, we just started. After 300 feet, like it's like. It's still pulling. Oh, wow, yeah. That's cool. All right, so I'm actually in the probably one of the fastest street cars ever. Wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> we're trying We're trying to make sure it's the, the fastest demon that there yeah, will be. So, fastest yeah, fastest demon. So, what's up? What are you doing? Um, actually, uh, basically, right at the moment, we're trying to get this thing lined out so it makes. Uh, a full pass with all the power down the track. And like, so how much did it, this actually dyno? Um, this dynoed at 1204 at 26 pounds. Oh my God, <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> it's amazing that, that it's just like full interior. Yes. Like it's so comfortable too. Like this thing's completely full weight. Windows work, does it have AC? Yeah, it has AC, has heat, just like it was delivered. This thing has really no weight taken off of it except for they replaced all the panels with carbon fiber. So luxurious. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cool part about this car is that it's not like a completely gutted out car just to make just to get some more speed out of it. So, so you're just putting a tune in there, or what? Yes, sir. Um, right now, I'm, I'm just adjusting some things on the engine controller to um, make some adjustments for the weather. And I took the data from our first pass that we made, and then I'm just making some fine adjustments so we can try and get this thing out there to its best potential. Yeah. Well, she is the quickest person in the world, so. Yes, she is the right person yeah, for the she's, job. She's, she's gonna get the speed out of this thing. Wow, 
881 at 162 miles an hour. That thing is so fast. 165 at 162, oh yeah. Nice. Hey, look at that. Nice job. traction when we're pushing this thing. Seriously, I'm about to lose my shoes every time I take a step. Oh man. Yeah, so super oh man, my like, bummer. Sure it's still there. <laughs> That's not what you want. So we were we were fixing to like really get after it. Right. After we already ran our 871. Woo! Wait, shit, damn it, no, it's 77. What? It's a 77, not a 71. Oh. We got an 81 okay. and then a 77. See we keep making these leaps and bounds right, like right. Like well, like what was your mile an hour? Uh, still, our our top our top speed is uh, 162. 162. Okay. That's right. And but our quickest ET is an 877. So you know what? Uh -huh. We thought we'd put in all the boost. Yeah. And take out <laughs> all the progression, and uh, and just stick the entire track, not just the 330, not just a half. And um, you know, we just thought we'll just go ahead and put that demon anywhere. <laughs> It's, it's kind of crazy to me that this is making so much power. <laughs> Twice. Quite on that. That's okay. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy to me that you weren't having traction issues with the launch, but you were more having traction issues with like the two to three shift. Uh, at first it was the one to two. That gave us the most problems and we were able to calm that down. And then it transitioned to two to three. And then when we put in all the power, then it, then it got worse. And we thought, you know what, we, we have two options. Okay, we can back the car down to the track. I should probably hold on the brake right there. And uh, as we're getting jacked up uh, and, and tune it to the track, or we can have the track come to us. And we're, we want to put down all the power that we have. So we had the track come to us. The traction was definitely there. But what happens is when you take a stock Demon and you put extra horsepower on it and torque and you hang a pair of 68s on it, now even though the motor and the internals can handle that, the drivetrain showed that it could <laughs> until it couldn't. Well, I'll tell you what, that last launch, that last run was going to be the one probably. It was totally going to be the one. So we upped it 100 RPM off the two-step and I thought, I told him I was like 100 RPM more like, I was I was holding it just fine when we were building boost. I'll be able, it'll be fine. I was up there like cranking on my left leg on the brakes, the two steps on the brake, throttles to the ground, we're at boost and I'm like waiting for the trim, like this thing is creeping. Well, on the, sometimes when you creep and then you launch, you get extra wheel speed more than you want, which isn't any good. Yeah. Actually, it gave us the wheel speed we wanted uh. and we took off and it was getting, and then boost came in, and then one, two, and then, and then it didn't want any part of that, and I heard a big clunk, and then I felt it in my butt, and I felt it go left, and I thought, this is, this, this is the end of the story, and unfortunately, it was the end of our day. You broke it. Boy. You broke it. I broke it. But you did it. I, technically, te te technically, yes. You were like the female hurt. <laughs> the female hurt. All right, we just got an update. Yeah, wow. It was just the drive shaft. It was, it's not even that bad. After, after, after all this time, uh, that's, that's all. Uh, just drive shaft. So, you know, it only connects your two worlds together. Yeah. And right now it was broken. And in about 30 minutes, it's going to be fixed. Perfect. More runs. More runs. Let's do it. To be continued. <laughs> to be continued. Done, done, done. Uh, you lost one of your balls. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm really glad that that broke. Oh, you're losing more balls. Miss. Oh, I'm sorry, let me let me stuff them back yeah. in the sack here, real quick. <laughs> Actually, I need to stuff my balls back in the sack because we're about to go do this again. Oh my goodness. Oh, all, all the gooiness. Oh, oh no. what a mess. <laughs> you really are a true hoonigan. Oh, wait, there's more balls. <laughs> balls everywhere. <laughs> you know the saying, like, it's worth the wait? At the end of the day, you guys are gonna see Larry Chen, who has ridden and driven in all types of racing atmospheres, 
but never on a drag strip. Never, ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever. Yeah. Ever. I've ridden on ovals in the desert, whatever. Balls? Trophy truck. You ridden on balls? Hey, brother! Lucifer, me. I love turbos. They are just, and then there's two of them. Who doesn't want oh, two? If one's, one's not enough, <laughs> one's not enough. You have an, you have another one. That's right. Oh, that's that's my helmet. My brain bucket going awry. So what are we gonna do now? Oh, uh, you know we're going to give a, our day a nice little nightcap and uh, take my good friend Larry Champ for a, like a like a 150 mile an hour ride. You know, like 8.7 something seconds. Yeah. This is gonna be actually legit my first time on <laughs> a quarter mile track or any drag strip at all. So, I've ridden in so many crazy things. I've never ridden on a drag strip. I've never. Uh, well, I've never ridden with you, Leah. So you have a seatbelt on, right? Yeah, I do have my seatbelt on. Safety step, first, you know. Step number two, always put into drag mode. Drag mode, okay. Good to go. And... I kind of feel like we need to have a better burnout than that. Oh my god! All of the horsepowers. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god. How is this thing so fast? We spun a little bit at the 1 2 and the 3 4. But we still went 154 miles an hour. What the heck? I've ridden in so many cool things, but this is so different. You know, I I just I don't even know what to say. It's just too cool. 